Hi everybody and welcome to this grace note. Today I'd love to speak to you about moving from a hurried, stressful, pressured pace to a more graceful, easy, generally nice pace where you can get things done. So maybe you're in a job where it demands a lot of your energy and time and you feel like you're always in a hurry to get things completed, to get things to your colleagues, to get things submitted on time. Or maybe you're in your own business and you have a lot to complete. Maybe you know, you're completing marketing and then you've got selling to do and then you've also got client calls to hold or maybe you're like me and you're creating a, a new web presence or you're rebranding. Whatever the case, it's likely that you might feel urgent and in a rush and that life is likely to speed up at times for you. And so if you've noticed, it's actually quite difficult to manage everything and get things done when you're operating from that fast pace. In fact, in my experience, you start making mistakes, you kind of check out and tune out of yourself and you begin making decisions that aren't right for you. And maybe you come home at the end of the day and you feel like only when you get home do you feel like you can relax or only when you have that glass of wine you can relax or that cigarette you can relax. So what I want to share around this is that you know, ultimately, we are the ones putting the gun to our head and then expecting ourselves to operate and create from here like this. <laughs> we are the ones that are generating the experience. And what's been really helpful for me in recognizing this is that it doesn't have to continue like that. In fact, what really helped me change pace over time was in seeing that any feeling of urgency, pressure, hurry, or stress was an indicator that my state of mind had fallen. It was not, it was not feedback that I really needed to hurry up. And in the past, I thought it was so I would feel stressed, urgent. I would be going to my day job and everything was a rush from the moment I got up to the moment I got home and 14 hours later, everything was a rush. And I used to just live in that pace the whole time. Uh, when I eventually came out of my job and I moved to Italy and I had my own business, initially I thought it was Italy that's helped me slow down. But as I got traction in my business and I started working with clients all over the world and I had a whole new schedule and a whole new way of working, I saw the same hurried way of operating coming to life again. And that got me really curious. It got me curious about where my experience was coming from. How come I could create the same amount of pressure, stress, and urgency away from my job in a new business, in a new life, in a new environment, in an environment that was supposed to lend itself to being slow? And this taught me then that really our feeling has nothing to do with our circumstances, our schedules, our environment and everything to do with how revved up we are internally. Coming across the principles behind life really confirmed this for me, that, that really the principle of thought uh, is always at work and that sometimes those thoughts are very fast and very rapid and they speed up and we speed up as a result. And sometimes they're quieter and they're slower and we come back to center, we slow down as a result. So the good news is, is that, you know, we are the creators of 
whether or not we speed up or we slow down a bit. Our feelings of stress, urgency and pressure are there to let us know when we're going too fast internally. Now that's huge, because I don't know about you, but for me, I used to think those feelings meant I needed to hurry up and get my stuff done. And that would lead me on a whole path of acting too quickly, doing things too quickly, making decisions too quickly, often with regrets. So as we start to see that the feelings of stress, pressure and urgency are, are, are simple indicators that we are speeding up, they're not feedback that we need to hurry up, then we can begin to become conscious creators and conscious decision makers. We can consciously decide to recognize the signals and let, let them go. Now you might be thinking, oh wow, Grace, that's too simple. But that's how it works. You notice what you're noticing and everything changes. So let me know what you hear in this one. I hope it's been helpful today. And if you're rushed and hurried and stressed, just know that it's feedback. It's simple feedback to come back home, come back to center, re, recalibrate and, and make your decisions, make your, your marketing, your selling, your business operate from there. Enjoy a more graceful pace and I'll speak to you soon. Ciao.